Well, we have an update now. It's been more than a month since DOTD banned commercial vehicles like 18 wheelers from the I-20 construction zone in an effort to improve traffic flow and keep drivers safe. But DOTD says hundreds of truckers have ignored the ban. NBC6's Miriam Smake joins us now live in Bossier City, sharing more on the impact. Miriam? Yes, Dan, while more than 300 citations have been written as commercial motor vehicles continue to drive on I-20. And this is not only impacting the progress that is being made on the rehabilitation project, but it's putting people in danger as well. The I-20 rehabilitation project has been underway since September of 2023, but 18 wheelers are making the road construction difficult and dangerous. Those lanes right now are nine and a half feet wide. You're used to driving on a lane that's about 12 to 14 feet wide. The average width of an 18 wheeler is about eight and a half feet wide. So that 18 wheeler has a foot of wiggle room. In December of 2023, a law went into effect, which prohibits trucks from driving on the I-20 construction zone in Bossier. The state police, Bossier City Police Department, Bossier City Sheriff's Department, we have officers up on the interstate 24 hours a day, and they are strategically placed so that drivers can see them well ahead of time and know that we have a presence. In a Facebook post, Louisiana State Police said, Moving forward, we will continue to enforce Louisiana Revised Statute 32-237 and take necessary actions against any CMV driver who violates the law. There is also no shortage of signage. And not only um, behind me, but throughout the interstate. So well approaching the different exits, um, those, that traffic is encouraged to take off, get off of the interstate and take the alternative exits. Buchanan says the DOT DD understands trucks have a job to do, but the interstate needs to be rebuilt. The overall big goal here is to have a successful construction project and a safe construction project. And DOTD will be installing even more signs, five, four foot by eight foot static signs that are going to be in combination with those blinking signs that are already in place. Reporting live in Bossier, Miriam Samake for NBC6 News. Dan? Thanks so much.